Welcome to Musing with Tanya D, holistic shamedium and subtle energy surgeon. So I just want to muse about some different ways to be mindful or some mindfulness techniques to try during busy times in your life. The hustle and the bustle of any time of the year actually can make it extremely difficult to stick to any kind of uh, meditation or solitude practice being in your skin, but not when you're armed with these mindful techniques, right? that you can practice no matter how busy your life becomes. So I'd say make solitude your go-to for a natural stress buster. I even designed a course just for this particular reason. So trying to make it to a yoga class, even during a holiday season, can be challenging. So why not try doing a season at home instead? So as the traffic piles up in a lot of places, the weather turns frigid, we can use this as a sign to just slow down, right? So in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic teachings alike, fall and winter are seasons meant to become more contemplative and to restore our soul so that once spring comes, we're bursting with qi or qi again. So if you can't make it to a yoga class, find one of these many thousands available online or just sit for 10 minutes with a warm cup of tea and focus on your breathing. So let whatever thoughts arise just come and be with them without judgment. This is actually a deeply restorative practice to just sit with you. And it can come to love no matter where you are. You just start loving the practice. And mindfulness can even be mobile. So there's no other better time to practice mindfulness than when you're traveling. You're stuck in a long layover between flights, maybe. Some rest or some flights actually or airports actually have yoga rooms in different locations. San Francisco. Um, that's the only one I can actually think of, but I've seen them. Okay, so just to get a few downward facing dogs in or just to sit and meditate for a few moments or even a few hours. Though you can't meditate in a car or a bus or taxi bound traffic, but you can focus on just mindful breathing, which can greatly reduce your stress. So just try this mindful breathing technique to instantly stop a fight or flight reaction from taking over during any time to feel the stress during the year. You can also practice mindful eating. So we can do almost anything mindfully from walking to talking to sitting and even eating. With any type of feasting, it's starts to roll out, it's imperative that we practice mindful eating, right? Instead of gorging on an everyday delicacy that's presented to us at family dinners or office parties, even holiday celebrations, birthdays, whatever. We can just take a moment, take a breath or breathe deeply and just ask yourself, how can I nourish my body without becoming a gluttonous pig? Though it's okay to be a little indulgent over a season during the holiday. However, reckless eating behaviors account for an average of three to five pounds of weight gain over just a few weeks. While this might not seem like much, if this habit of overindulging during the season doesn't get nipped in the butt as the years start, this extra weight can compound over several months and years until we're wondering why our clothing doesn't fit anymore. We feel tired, maybe we're cranky, we've lost our normal energetic outlook on life. So a simple practice of being mindful, just being mindful of eating can assist us in keeping our health attained, okay? So practice mindful shopping. Did you know in the United States of America, we are one of the biggest consumers of goods in the entire world? even though we're not even close to being the largest population. So as we purchase gifts or buy things for those we love or ourselves, not just during the season of giving, we can just make a practice where we're being more mindful just by asking ourselves if the gifts we are giving are really going to enrich another person's life. Are the consumer goods, the clothing, or are they plastic toys? Um, maybe even yoga mats contributing to environmental destruction 
Or can you find something that's fair trade, environmentally responsible, that actually nurtures someone's spiritual growth instead? Some gifts just keep giving long after the wrapping paper has been tossed away. Why not be a person who gives in this kind of mindful manner? You can also be mindful by using an acupuncture technique to calm fear, worry, anxiety, or stress. Just in about five minutes, you can use acupuncture on your own hand to help induce a relaxed, happy state of being. One at a time, wrap each of your fingers and thumb with the opposite hand and gently press the digit firmly. So each finger and thumb correlate to different states of the mind, which are released and applied. So this releasing takes places like this. So the thumb reduces anxiety and worry. The index finger releases fear. The middle finger releases resentment and anger. The ring finger helps promote clear decision making and can pom combat uh, depression, sadness, and fatigue. So if you see people doing this all the time. Um, and the pinky finger can reduce anxiety while increasing confidence and optimism. Of course, all of these techniques can be applied year-round, particularly during times of stress or busyness. Changing your emotional state of awareness is as easy as taking small, consistent action to feel more alive, joyous, and free. So thanks for joining me for this little musing show. If you're feeling called to upcycle your regime to be more mindful, visit my online corridor for what ails you at club.tanyd.tv where I host my online courses, including Soliciting Solitude, The Balance of Being, and the newly inspired The Energy Body Demystified. So if you're ready to open up to a holistic and energetic approach to skin and body care, visit my shop for elemental skin care. It's like feng shui for the body and the skin, especially since the skin is your outer protective barrier. It's like magic. Feeling like you're ready to upcycle your NQ or your nutrition quotient? Maybe with a body detox or just ready to upgrade to the vitality of life through plants, go to greenskingirl.com. If you haven't followed me on any social media platforms, you can find me at What's Up Tanya D on Facebook, on Instagram, I'm at the Tanya D. I'm Twitter, uh, at Green Skinny Girl. On YouTube, that's probably where you are, Tanya D. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and ring the bell on iTunes. Subscribe to my podcast, Musing with Tanya D. Season two was all about the elements of you from an energetic perspective. Season three is about the energy world. And 2020 is the subtle energy season. You can also find me on Spotify. Visit my corridor for well-being and healing at club.tanyad.tv where I host all my online courses or tanyad.tv where I host everything from upgrading your vitality, eating healthier, um, essential oils, and so much more. You can find all the links in the show notes below. Until next time, Ashe. Mm -hmm.